Marnie Wasserman and Jesse Chapp is here from the Ultimate Health Podcast. Welcome back to another Focus Friday. These are short bursts of inspiration and information to get your weekend started on the right foot. And today's topic, embracing summer. We're here in August now. August has just kicked off. We're in the middle of summer. We really want to make sure this weekend and for the rest of the summer for us North American people, we are just totally embracing this time. Yeah, and it's not that the summer's over yet. We're really just trying to harness what is left and make sure that those moments that we're stepping outside in flip-flops and tank tops and t-shirts and shorts that we're really remembering how good it feels to be able to do this because we all know in the dead of winter, you can't do that. So take what's left of the summer, make the best out of it. Jesse and I have really just started to acknowledge all the amazing things that we love to do during the summer months. And we're going to make sure we keep doing them until the snow hits the ground. And for those of you who are maybe on the other side of the world right now and you're coming into summer, these are things to think about. And for a lot of you guys, these are things to think about even next summer. If some of these tips and points can't apply yet because it's too late, such as growing a garden. But we'll get to that shortly. So now we're going to talk about what we love about summer hopefully inspire you guys, give you guys some new ideas. The first one I want to talk about is sunsets. Marty and I, after dinner, one of our favorite things to do is grab the dog, jump in the car. It's not too far, but we go down to the waterfront here in Windsor. We have an amazing waterfront and we like to go for walks along there and just watch that sun come down. It is just such a great time and we always feel so rejuvenated when we come back. Yeah, so take the opportunity at night or during the day even. Jesse's really big on going on long walks during the day, so it doesn't matter what time of day, but take advantage of these walks that you can do when the weather is so beautiful out. So our nighttime walks are definitely a favorite part of the evening. So something else that I love to do in the summer, and I haven't had the chance to do it yet because we don't have one, but we are going to be ordering one right after today's show, is getting a hammock and sitting outside and reading or sleeping or just looking up at the sky. I love hammocks, and I can't believe I've waited this long. Since the move, we've just had so much going on, haven't gotten around to it. But today is the day I'm holding myself accountable. We're ordering a hammock. Catch me next week on Instagram. I will be sitting outside on my hammock reading a book. Or I might catch you having a nap. We'll have to see. Maybe. We'll see. (laughs) Either way, all good. So the next thing we want to talk about is making sure you're getting a healthy amount of sun on your skin, getting your vitamin D, getting that sun exposure, not letting your skin get burnt, but getting a healthy amount, getting that healthy dose. Yeah, and something that I love to do because I am an early bird is I like to get up really early in the morning and if I can, I catch the sun rise. And that's such a great way to start the day is even looking at the sun for a little bit. Not too long, but in the morning, it's just a nice way to to get your body in gear for the day and wake your body up. And if I also can, I like to stand in the grass barefoot, which is very easy because we've got grass in our backyard, and look at the sun. So all of that to just get grounded for the day and, and set the body up. We also love at nighttime when we come back from those walks, getting outside when we can, having a fire at night. Just such a wonderful way to spend time together simmer down right before bed and sometimes we'll listen to a podcast out there or just talk the dog will be outside we love our campfires it's just so meditative staring at that fire and just being together yeah and it makes it really easy to go to bed on those nights because when you're just outside in the darkness looking at a fire it's really good because you're not on your phone or your computer And if you can't do a fire in your own backyard, if you go on a camping trip, maybe you have the opportunity to do this. So wherever you can get in touch with a fire and sit around it and talk and bond with people, such a great way to embrace the summer. Going for picnics, another great way to get outside, embrace the season. Marnie and I are going to go to Point Peely this weekend with her parents. They're down visiting us. We're going to bring a picnic, just getting outside, enjoying that food with loved ones. Picnics are just such a great thing to embrace this time of year. There's nothing I love more than packing a picnic. And it's just so much fun to find all of your favorite foods and put them in containers, glass containers, of course, load them up and enjoy them with other people. So make a picnic. 
And something else that Jesse and I love to do with people, and we've had the opportunity of doing this this summer, we're very lucky, is going kayaking. And that brings in the sunset. It brings in spending time with friends. And, you know, getting in a kayak or a canoe at night is is awesome and watching the sunset. So we're very lucky to have that opportunity. Our friends literally have a river going through their backyard. So this is such a spectacular thing to be able to do. So hopefully you guys have some access to water that you can get near to go and do something like this. Yeah, and I grew up on a river. So we had a paddle boat, a canoe, motor boats. Just getting back on the water is just so nostalgic for me, and it's just been such a healing, special time, so I've really been enjoying it. I'd say that's probably the only thing missing from our awesome house, Jess, is is having a river and a kayak or a paddle boat (laughs) to be able to go out to on a daily basis. Yeah, things to think about for our next place. Another thing Marty and I love to do this time of year is get out on our bikes. We're both big fans of biking. We love biking to farmer's markets on Saturday mornings. We love to just go for bike rides just as a way to get out together and enjoy the evening. We will bike around the city if there's different destinations we need to get to. We try and take the bikes when we can. Again, we both just love this activity. It's just a great thing we can do together. This time of year, we have it so easy. We have our bikes in the shed in the backyard. So we used to have to store them away up in our apartment and come down an elevator with them. And it was just such a hectic thing to get them out and about. Now we can just pull them out, go for bike rides whenever, and it's just been a great thing we've been embracing this summer. I love it. And yeah, the only limitation of the bike rides is that we can't bring Goji with us unless we get some kind of big carrier that we can put her in in the back. I know that there are such things, but for right now, this is Jesse and I solo time going for awesome bike rides. And last but not least, something that we have definitely had the opportunity to do this summer is grow a garden. So if you haven't started a garden yet, it might be a little bit too late. You could probably do some indoor gardening or get some cans or different pots and you can do that in small ways, but maybe you want to start planning for next year. But for those of you who do have a garden, I hopefully you can relate with us just how amazing it is to be able to harvest and grab your own produce and go and make a meal with that. It is so amazing. And I have to give Jesse the credit because he did an amazing job building our little garden box, which is a raised box on our yard right on the ground. He put soil in it, he put seeds in it, and now we have this thriving garden. But it is a work in progress. It's something that we're learning a lot about this year, just seeing what works and how big things get and how much space you actually need to grow properly. But we are getting some serious yield, especially in the zucchini department. Yeah, zucchini and cucumbers, they sure take up a lot of space, but we're definitely learning how much space we need for these plants. Next year, I think we're already talking about putting a second raised bed garden in. It's just been a lot of fun. And getting your own produce fresh right before you make your meal, nothing like it. It's just such a great hobby. I fully see us continuing to expand upon this and and garden more and more over the years. Honestly, the best produce you can get is one from your own backyard. It's local, it's organic, and the taste, honestly, guys, you can't beat. So get your gardens organized for next year, or maybe you have a friend who's growing one and, and have fun that way. So I hope you guys got some ideas on how to make the summer just a little bit more special, things that maybe you can still get out and do. You know, you've got several months left. As I said, it's not over yet, but you've got a couple months left. We we don't get bad weather here until November, December. So, you know, depending on October, you never know where things are going to go. So enjoy these last months and embrace the summer. And be sure to share with us how you're embracing summer. Share with us over on Instagram. Our handle is Ultimate Health Podcast. And you can tag us in photos, share in stories what you're up to. We'd love to see and we'd love to communicate with you over there. So we'll see you over on Instagram. Have a great weekend. Embrace summer. We'll talk soon.